So in this video, I wanna share with you four chat GPT prompts that will help to get your business more attention, more visitors, more customers, and more money in your pocket. All right, so let's get right into it. So these are the four prompts. I will also leave all these prompts in the description below for you just to literally copy paste and start using them today, okay? So the first one is by creating engaging content. So if you're not already, you should be creating content for your business and it should be engaging. Unfortunately, I think a lot of people, uh, if they have a business, they typically are a master at whatever business or service or product that they are selling, right? Marketing is a whole different skill than actually running a business. So when people are talking about their product or they are talking about their service, they typically talk about it in a from a non-marketing perspective. You need to have engaging content. It cannot be boring content, especially with more and more people putting content on the internet now. You need to stand out. You need to make sure that it is engaging. So that's where this prompt will help you, okay? So this is part this is two a two-part prompt, okay? Uh, so it is the prompt is how engaging is this content on a scale of 1 to 10? 1 is more boring than watching paint dry and 10 is I cannot stop reading. And then insert your content. Okay, so whether this is a Facebook post, uh, a YouTube video, a YouTube script that you're writing out, uh, an Instagram post, whatever it is, an email, you can gauge how in you can gauge how engaging, yeah, that makes sense, uh, how engaging the content is by using this prompt and making sure that it is engaging, that it isn't too boring, okay? So I'm going to copy this, and I already wrote out a pretty boring uh, little introduction paragraph about life insurance. So I think most people would agree insurance is not the most appealing and engaging uh, industry to talk about stuff, right? But it can be. So this is what I wrote in the uh, for the prompt first, right? Write a brief introduction paragraph about life insurance. And the output was pretty standard, pretty boring, nothing too exciting about it. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to ask how engaging is the content and give me a score of 1 to 10. All right, so let's see what it says. So it's not going to have personal opinions. However, uh, it's going to base based the content on general standards, and it is considered a six or seven in terms of engagement. Okay, so a six or seven, it's not the most exciting, it's not the most engaging. All right, now what we're gonna wanna do is rewrite it, rewrite the previous content at a level of whatever you wanna put it at. If you got a score of, let's say a two, which I hope not, uh, you would wanna put it much higher than that. So let's see what it sounds like at a level 10, all right? So life insurance is not just a financial tool, it's a profound shield that guards against the uncertainties of life and ensures the security of your loved ones. It brings immeasurable peace of mind by pro providing a safety net in the face of unimaginable loss. In a world where tomorrow is never promised, life insurance stands tall as a beacon of protection, shielding your family from the potentially devastating consequences of your ultimate untimely departure. Okay, I'm not gonna continue, continue reading it, uh, but it is that is significantly more engaging than, let's see where it says, uh, life insurance is a crucial financial tool that provides protection and peace of mind to individuals and their loved ones. In a world full of uncertainties, uh, life insurance offers a safety net by in ensuring that loved ones left behind are financially supported in the event of policy holders untimely demise. Okay, you can see how much more engaging this is. The words it uses, it's much uh, much more persuasive, okay? So you can use this with any aspect of content that you're actually creating and really turn it up a notch to make it more engaging, more persuasive, okay? Number two is a unique value proposition. Do you have a unique value proposition within your business? If you don't, then you're probably struggling. So it's this prompt is going to help you really communicate and be able to articulate your business to uh, clients, potential clients, potential customers. Okay, this is significant, this is critical. We need to be able to articulate this to people that are ready to do business and ready to have their problems solved with our products or our services. So this is the prompt. Clearly communicate the unique value of, insert your product or service, explain how it solves problems, fulfills desires, or provides significant benefits to the customers. Write it in bullet points. I just put that because 
I don't want this huge paragraph. I just want it to be able to show you guys within bullet points. So this is the example. Clearly communicate the unique value of my mobile car deal detailing business. Explain how it solves problems, fulfills desires, or provides significant benefits to customers. Write it in bullet points, okay? So again, put whatever your product or your service is, okay? So here it is. Immaculate Shine, our mobile car dealing business ensures that your vehicle shines like never before. We go the extra mile to restore its original luster, leaving it looking brand new and turning heads. Convenient on-site service, right? Obviously that's pretty uh, standard with a mobile car deal detailing business, but you need to be able to communicate this with people that are interested in buying your services, right? We bring our expertise and equipment directly to you, saving you the valuable time and the effort, okay? Not only, not only are we coming to you, but you need to be able to tell people the benefit of you coming to them, right? You save, t you save time and effort with us coming to you. Our mobile car, our mobile service eliminates the hassle of driving to a physical location, allowing you to focus on other important tasks. Enhanced protection. Our meticulous detailing process not only enhances the aesthetic appeal of your vehicle, but it also provides vital protection. We utilize high quality products and techniques that shield your car's exteriors from harmful elements such as UV rays, oxidation, and environmental contaminants. Okay, and then it goes on and on and on. Right? All these different uh, benefits of your actual product and your service services, right? This is what will, uh, should be communicated online when you're creating content, when you are creating advertising, you need to be able to put this into an ad, into a piece of content to show people what's in it for them. Okay. Number three is a prompt to become a better storyteller. This is going to help you get more attention for your business because at the end of the day, uh, what is, what's the saying? Uh, facts tell stories sell. Facts tell stories sell, right? So you could talk about the features. You could talk about what you're, you know, the chemicals that you're bringing to your mobile car de detailing uh, in your business, right? You could talk about those things, but what's going to sell people, what's going to get people to take action is the stories around people, clients, customers that have achieved the results, the desired results, okay? So you wanna be, become a better storyteller and be, be able to use that within your marketing within your content, within uh, any type of, you know, copywriting or advertising that you are doing, this will help you, okay? This is gonna help with better conversions and more eyeballs on your, uh, on your ads or on your landing pages, whatever it is, okay? So the prompt is this, I want to, whoops, come on. I want to tell more engaging and persuasive stories about my business that sells into your product or business. Write ideas for stories that I can share with my target audience that will resonate with them. Write it brief and in bullet points. So that last part, I just put that in again to make it quick for us rather than it writing out this entire uh, article about uh, about it. So this is it. I am. I want to tell more engaging and persuasive stories about my business that sells private chef services. Okay, that's the example, right? Ideas for stories that I could share with my target audience that will resonate with them. Write it brief and in bullet points. Okay, so just insert your product or service. Now, quick disclaimer, you shouldn't be just creating made up stories. This is supposed to give you ideas. If you are a private chef, I guarantee that these stories, these ideas have probably already happened to you in life. Okay. They have already happened within your business. All right. So let's see some of these ideas for stories that will help to get people more engaged with your content and more likely to convert. Okay. So the first is a culinary adventure. Share a story about a client who had Always dreamed of experiencing the flavors of specific cuisine, but couldn't find a restaurant that offers it. Your private chef service stepped in, creating a customized menu, delivering a memorable dining experience. Okay, the perfect proposal. Tell the heartwarming story of a client who enlisted your private chef service to create a magical proposal. Describe how the chef collaborated with the client to plan an intimate and romantic dinner, blah, blah, blah. Right, you get the point. Using these stories, using these ideas uh, can be really powerful in your marketing efforts. Celebrating milestones. Highlight a client who turned to your private chef service to celebrate a significant milestone such as birthday, anniversary, or graduation. Right? All of these stories should be on your website. They should be on your social media pages. They should be on your landing pages. Right? A taste of home. Share a touching story of a client who's living far away from their home country, uh, look, longing for flavors and comfort of their native cuisine. Wellness and spiritual diets. Uh, or 
special diets, not spiritual diets. Uh, illustrate the story of a client who struggled to find delicious and nutritious meals that aligned with their dietary restrictions. Family bonding, share a heartwarming story, a heartwarming tale of a busy family who turned to your private chef service to create precious moments together. Okay, on and on and on. So just insert your business, insert your product and create stories around these ideas. Okay. And the final is developing social proof. So social proof is so important, so critical, especially on the internet. You need to have some kind of social proof that shows, hey, I know what I'm doing. These people have experienced what I've experienced or they have experienced the the, the desirable results and you can too. Now, I, again, with the stories and this prompt, don't just steal ideas or social proof or made up stories to be able to put into your marketing. This is just to give you an outline. Okay. So this is really powerful. Uh, and I'll show you exactly why. So this is the prompt, create an outline for a highly effective testimonial for insert your project service or service. This will be shown to my target audience. It should break any negative beliefs and encourage them to either work with me or buy my product, write it in bullet points. Okay, so the outline is, or the example is this, create an outline for a highly effective testimonial for my anti-aging face cream called Visibly Young Retinol Cream. This is gonna be shown to my target audience. It's gonna help break beliefs and encourage them to buy my product. Okay, so this is just the outline. But what's really powerful with this is let's say you really do have an anti-aging uh, face cream called Visibly Young Retinol Cream. You're going to take this outline and you're gonna contact customers or you're gonna contact clients whatever uh, in whatever business you have, people that have already achieved what they want to achieve, already had their problem solved, and you are going to say, hey, can I, can I call you for a testimonial? Can I have do a Zoom call for a testimonial? Can I take a video or you do a video of a testimonial for me? And if you know maybe they need some kind of incentive, may, maybe say you know I'll give you some free products if you uh, if you've already used it and you've gotten the desirable results. Don't try to you know bait them into a testimonial when they've never used your product or service because that's just unethical and we don't want to do that. But this will give you the outline to give you a really really powerful testimonial. Okay, so let's see the testimonial or the outline for it. All right, the introduction. Imagine this is a video, right? For Visibly Young Retinal Cream, this is a video of uh, Mike or Sarah that has achieved the results. All right, the introduction. Briefly introduce a person giving the testimonial. Establish the initial concerns or negative beliefs about anti-aging products. Okay, so we're gonna give this to the person, the person that's giving the testimonial. We're gonna tell them, talk about the concerns you've had. All right, we're not gonna try to put ideas into their head. We're just gonna tell them, talk about the concerns they've had. Because if they have these type of concerns, uh, chances are that other people have these concerns as well. All right, personal transformation. Share the, per share the person's journey and experience with using the cream. Describe the initial skin concerns or challenges that they faced. Did they have wrinkles, fine lines, dullness? And then highlight the how the cream addressed these concerns and brought about positive changes. All right, you see how it's, it's vague. It lets the, the person that's given the testimonial, it gives them the control with still giving them an outline of what's going to uh, be effective in a testimonial. Okay. Uh, next part, visible results. Emphasize the noticeable improvements in the person's skin after using the cream. Uh, next is detail the specific changes that they observed. Did they have smoother texture, reduced wrinkles, enhanced radiance. Use descriptive, langu descriptive language to paint a vivid picture of the transformation. Boost confidence. Discuss the emotional impact of the product on the person's self-esteem and confidence. Now, at least what I've noticed with people with testimonials is if I ask for a testimonial or if people leave reviews for my products or services that I've sold in the past, typically they are not the most persuasive. They are pretty general. They're pretty short. They're pretty, they're just not as good. This hits the nail on the head with what you need people to do with a testimonial is they need to talk about the emotional impact of the product on their life, on their self-esteem or their confidence in this case. All right. Then explain how they improved appearance pos their improved appearance positively influenced their overall well-being. Highlight specific instances or situations where the person's person felt a significant significant boost in confidence. Okay, then highlight the convenience and simplicity of incorporating it. Discuss any long-term benefits experienced. Address any concerns about, about the potential side effects and emphasize the cream's safety and gentle nature. 
Then the final recommendation, state the person's enthusiastic recommendation for the product, encourage the target audience to try to try the product and experience similar uh, transformation, transformative results themselves, reinforce the effectiveness, quality, and value of the cream. And then closing remarks, express gratitude to the audience, provide contact information. And this is something that you should be doing also after maybe cut after uh, you're taking a video of the person give them testimonial and it goes right to this where you talk about, hey, you can buy the product right now, click the link below. Okay, then encourage the target audience to take action. Yeah, like I just said. Okay, so you can see how this outline is really powerful in giving a very effective uh, high converting testimonial that will get people to buy, right? Because I could stand here all day long and if I'm the creator of Visibly Young Retinol Cream, people aren't going to be as likely to buy it from me as they are from someone else that has tried it, used it, and experienced the positive results from it, okay? So I hope all of these were helpful that they, uh, that they can really get more attention on your business, get you more customers, get you more clients, get you more money in your pocket. Again, I'm gonna leave all these prompts in the description below for you to just copy paste and start using today. All right, so if you like this video, you're gonna like these two also. So make sure to check them out, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.